Hey people, I just wanted to make a video um, about stuff that I've been watching on YouTube. Recently I've really got into um, like the Dream Reborns videos and various other people who are making stuff on like Black Unity and uniting blacks and you know positive positivity moving forward with things. I'm just wondering where I actually fit in with this because I don't class myself as black I don't class myself as white, I'm mixed race um, my background is I'm half Jamaican half Irish but I was born in London in the UK um, and I've lived here all my life what does that make me? Also, I was adopted. I was adopted when I was a baby, and I, so I was brought up by my mum, who is white, um, and in a household predominantly with 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 whites. But I don't class myself as white. I class myself as mixed race. But it's odd because I've had racism from white people, I've had racism from black people, and I I just don't know <laughs> what I'm I don't know, to be honest. It's um it's odd. Since I've been watching these videos on the net, it's really got me thinking over the last couple of months regarding like my history and actually where I come from so it's not that I've not been interested in, in my history before it's just that you know seeing these things you know it started with me um, thinking about about stuff more so I went into London I went into Foils what is a big bookshop in Charing Cross Road probably one of the biggest bookshops in London and I went there to have a look for books on um, Afro-Caribbean history and you know I know a little bit about about it I know you know the 1950s and Windrush and things like that so I went there and looking for books they didn't have one book on Windrush in store they had uh, the guy in, in the section took me to um, the immigration section and there was a book called Black Britain it was mainly just photographs, quite interesting, but not the type of thing I wanted. I wanted something on history. Um, while I was in this store, though, I, you know, I, I had to look around, um, and they had a lot of stuff on um, American history, like black history, like black slavery, but it all seemed to be in America. When I asked them about this, um, he said that he didn't think that there was much um, interest. Am I the only um, person of Afro-Caribbean descent that is, in, is interested in the history? Why is there no books available? If you know any books, please you know, send me a message or, or let me know. I'd be really interested to uh, you know, read up about my history. Um, also, I don't know about. Um, it's not as I say. It's not something I've really ever thought about before. Um, but I am interested in finding out my history. Um, I know that it was riots to do with with like um, race in in the UK and. I live in, in Essex, um, what is kind of next to next to London. Um, I work in London, but I actually live in Essex. And there was a program on recently um, called "It's All White in Barking." What well, what's got connections with the BNP and, and stuff like that? And this is one of the reasons that really got me interested um, in the history. In our area, it seems to be like a political hotbed at the moment. I read in the newspaper that the 
um, it, they said that if there was any kind of race riots to jump off, it would possibly happen in our area, like in Barking, um, Ilford, and that type of, of area. I, I don't know. You know, I used to um, work in in that area also. Um, but it's really quite interesting, and I, I I'd like to to learn more about my heritage. But getting back to the question, what am I? What do people actually see me as? As I say, I don't class myself white. Don't think that I do. But I don't class myself black. I was accused. I've been accused on numerous occasions of being um, Uncle Tom. But because yeah, I've been accused on various occasions of being an Uncle Tom. I remember once being at a bus stop. Once again, I use public transport quite a lot, and a girl was sitting at the bus stop, and you know, you end up up talking, and she asked me for for a light, and she had a spliff in her hand. Um, I'm not, I'm not, believe it or not, I'm not a prude, but um, I don't smoke weed, it doesn't interest me, so I said no, I was standing there, and uh, she asked me where, where I was from, I said I was born in, in London, on there, and she seemed to take this completely the, the, the wrong way, cut a long story short, she ended up accusing me of being uh, well, sorry. She actually said to me, um, "At least I know what I am." Now she wasn't black. She seemed to be some sort of, of mixed race. She was quite dark in skin, but you know, I don't know where she was originally from. Um, I don't know. What? What? God! How on earth can I be some? My skin colour um, dictates what I think, does it? You know, or I've never really thought about it before. It's like, man. Growing up mixed race in Britain, what's your experiences of growing up mixed race? Have you had, had racism from. from any side. I have to say that I've had more racism from whites than I have blacks. When I was at school, um, when I first went to school, when I was like four, I was the only black child in the in the school. When I went up to the, to the junior school, um, there was two blacks in the class, and it was then I received my first experiences of racism. Before, I never had really thought about it. I spoke to my mum about this and she said that when I was a baby um, I knew that there was a, a difference because I said that why am I blue and you green? Hey, I was a baby. Um, and she she's always kind of told me that doesn't matter what colour the skin is, we we all we all bleed the same. Um, and I, I kind of agree with that, you know, it's not something I've ever really thought of. So if I start making videos on this, um, I don't know 